Institution spread. Ah, so we're actually getting to the stage where we would be able to do this. I mean, it's actually spreading to quite a few provinces still. I have a lot in the 70s and 80s. Yeah, we're going to get this institution really cheaply. Awesome. Thank you, be informed. Oh, someone's sieging my staff. Get out of here. Unhappiness amongst the artisans, conflicts and protests over taxes, corporations, trade and customs policies are becoming quite frequent. Burkers lose two loyalty because we're an entrepreneur and lose 10 prestige. Prestige is easy enough to get. I'd much rather lose that to the other stuff. Especially because I have glorious arms, prestige from land battles. So I just need to go and fight some people and I'll get that right back again. That's a lot of pretenders. What the hell happened here, Manchua? Crikey. Oh, they just peaced out. France is just like, I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, they're dead. They did not survive for very long. Oh, the Danes are here. Uh, Denmark. And my army reformer died. Boo! Yo, Cossacks. I would really like to have a minister, please. I can't do that for another ooh, 14 years. Bugger! Oh, well, discipline guy it is. So my discipline right now is 110. Denmark like, nope, nope, nope. Run away, run away. Don't want to do this. The big blue blob has definitely seen better, day, better days. That's true. <laughs> Denmark's just like, nope, we're noping out of here. Uh, what I could do, actually, is stopping... I could stop the Danish army getting home. We'll just block all of this. <laughs> I almost feel cruel. Almost. <laughs> Denmark's just running around up here taking a bunch of attrition. Yeah, have fun with that. reformed. How is it actually looking? Now oh, we're getting uh, Lithuania done now. That's actually a... Oh, it's because they're occupied by Brandenburg. Okay. I was going to say, that's a bunch of Protestantism down there, but it's it's not really. It's just because the occupying power is. Uh, Norway is now on low or enthusiasm. Sweden's still on high. Norway will probably peace out soon. Sweden's just beaten a Danish navy. Not a very big one, but they did win a victory there. We're winning this one by 46%. War of the Protestant League. Verden is out. Pay war reps. We'll convert to Protestant. Give money. Good. One down. Like I said, this is going to result in a lot of people being converted. What happened to the Danish armies? Oh, we got rebels. Go deal with those peasants! Where are the Danes? Oh, there they are. Attacking Moscow. Tisk tisk tisk. <laughs> Denmark's noping out again. Gonna try and hem them in. This league war is utterly ridiculous.
That's a forest, so it'll be a minus one. I actually want you to go here. You go there. You come up. I'm going to give you my best general. I don't actually have any amazing ones. I guess you'd be the best. Oh, no, they've stopped in Kostroma. France is pieced out already. We'll see Toulouse and Quercy to Armanac. Forced to give Brandenburg 10% of their income. France will annul all treaties with Bohemia. France will give money. 595 ducats, of which I get 10. Yeah, we've really not contributed very much to this war. Well, actually, I've contributed tons, because I've kept Sweden and Denmark out of it. East Frisia's gone. Forced to give income. Convert to Protestant. I think we're going to catch you. Yes, yes we did. Okay, so this is our 110% discipline versus the 105. For morale to the 3.3, and this is without my 15% bonus. We are fighting on a minus one here. This is against their king. Here's a 2 2 1 versus my 3 4 5 5. They do actually outnumber us with artillery, which have no additional abilities. They don't have very much cavalry, which doesn't have any ability. And then their infantry, same thing. My cavalry are currently on a plus 58, infantry on a plus 10. Artillery are not upgraded at all. Let's see the numbers roll in. Yeah, I see. Killing a lot more of them. Leve, we're going to keep this at a moderate level. Here we go. Those those are the numbers I wanted to see. So I lost 2,800. They lost 9,000. Good. Need to have a guess at where they're going to run to. Because they're a long way from home. Meanwhile, Norway continues to siege some stuff down. Bohemia's down to medium. Castile is being occupied. Is Aragon on our side? I'm sure they'd like to have a crack at uh, Portugal. No, Aragon did not take sides. Interesting. They're getting ahead of us. Ah, uh, no, I'm taking the attrition. I don't want to take the attrition. Wait, have we... No, they still have 23 galleys. 13 plus my 10. But doesn't Denmark have a galley bonus? Plus 5 ship durability, yearly naval tradition. Naval force limit, plus 50%. Really? I never really looked at Danish ideas. I was always kind of underwhelmed by them. Sweden's and Norway's are just so much more interesting. But this does mean that I can cross here. And they can't. If they try to move them, then I might try and move my galleys up. Wow, they really are running a long way. And in all of this time, Sweden's army is just taking everything back. Is Denmark out of manpower by any chance? Nope. 14,000. No mercenaries. That's a load of rebels. Okay, they've recovered. 
So we need to try and get over to there. Production research floored. I'll take the prestige hit because once again I can get prestige pretty easily. Oh, they're running to Norway, aren't they? Certainly looks like it. That's Portugal out, uh, including Portugal's colonies. So their side has shrunk. They've got like, wow, these are like 1 to 10 odds, if not higher. Yeah, we have 10 times more artillery, more than 10 times the cavalry, and about 10 times their infantry. And yet, we've lost all of the early battles. What the hell, guys? Oh, they're sieging down here. Oh, really? Let's murder these Swedish rebels. Squish and squish. Well, I'm not going to siege them, though. I don't want to take the attrition from that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you two back home to go and deal with them. Well, you two stay over here and just stop Den uh, Denmark from just reinvading us. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with the status quo. Castile is out. Did not convert. Did Portugal convert? No. Wait. No. I saw Portuguese and thought that might have been Protestant. It began with a P. And then there were five. Oh, this is insane. I've never seen the Protestant League War go this crazily. Actually, where's my air like? Salzburg, a 0 5 2. My one would be a 3 2 2. Also quite old. Bohemia is down to just six points. They're pretty much ready to give up here. Oh, I actually took two of the provinces, including Prague. That's good. Ah, you're blockading my navy. That's what you're doing. And also probably getting a pretty oppressive amount of blockading done on me. 32% uh, of my nation is currently blockaded. Oh, of course, we have Black Sea ports. <laughs> these armies coming over to kill these couple of troops, probably, because... Yeah, Germany is pretty much occupied. We have so many troops compared to them. Should totally have started the League War. Peace deals would be much more harsh. True. Problem is, I couldn't because I was uh, in the Swedish war against Denmark. Which really did work out in our favour, honestly. Because it kept Sweden and Denmark out of the League War. And I was still able to join because I was not at war with any of the um, my allies. Augsburg will see the province, give up money, and all treaties will convert. Yep, we are doing a lot of conversion here. This is going to have interesting ramifications. Another conversion. How is the institutionalization going? It is going swimmingly. This is going to be a cheap conversion. Yeah. I've already got half the country done. And for a country this size, that's impressive. Wait, the Ottomans in this? Just fighting Crimea. Okay, here come my armies. Let's go and teach those Danes a lesson or three. Hey, it's the knights! Just on principle, I'm going to leave you alive, unless you siege my stuff, in which case I will have to kill you. Uh, 
Murder, 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 stack wipe. Lovely. Right, so that's one of the Danish stacks dealt with. I still don't know where the other one is. We need to take Yomtland, which is... That. Ticking war score is at 23 already. <sighs> Sweden's busy taking their forts back. Fair enough. An army career. With the growth of our professional army, new career opportunities abound for those of the ability and ambition. The old nobles, however, still expect to be rewarded with the most valuable commissions out of tradition and the centuries during which their lineages have served the crown faithfully. So we can gain 15 army tradition and piss the burkers off a bit. Or we can lose 10 army tradition and gain 2.5 professionalism. I've not struggled too much with professionalism. But then again, I do have 96% army tradition right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hire a couple of generals. And we're going to do a bit of a purge. Then I'm going to lose the army tradition. Ah, oh, shit. Press the wrong one. Oh, well. Let's get some more. Okay, let's do this. Because actually recruiting generals also gives professionalism, so yes, that was the much better option. Although I did things in completely the wrong order. Let's get rid of you. Uh, let's just get rid of all of my generals, just, just for a moment. And we'll pair it down to the, the best couple. Uh, where are you? No, we're going to have all tier 3s. Maybe we'll go one or two over. Maybe. Certainly not ten over. Uh, you can go. You can go. I want to keep high shock. You can go. Need to get rid of three more. Five, five, three, three. It's a little bit low. You can go. You can go. We'll keep five, because at least one of these is going to die fairly soon. So let's give out the shock guys first of all. This is for my cavalry. Oh, good grief. Four, six, five, four. That's insane. And if any of these are not three star, I'll be very disappointed. And probably you. Although I do like the idea of having a six siege. Right, you all level threes? Yes, 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 and yes. Mm. Leader will get between 7 and 18 pips as a base. Oh, that's cool. Didn't actually know that. Base cost is modified by innovative... Innovativeness affects this? Of course it does. It affects everything power cost-wise. Sweet. Alright, now I cannot afford to spend military power on anything. Probably went a little bit overboard. A little bit. But hey, the professionalism will pay off if nothing else. There's the Danish army. There's the Norwegian army. Let's send you up here just to work interception, shall we? All right, Poznan's been retaken. We're just going to hang around just to make sure they didn't do anything naughty. Okay, now we've taken the war goal. War goal ticking us on our side. Rebels are taking territory. Unacceptable. 
What's my contribution here been? Still only 38%. Really? And 1% here. I'm 90% blockaded. Oh, the knight. <laughs> the knight's navy! I'm sure there'll be a pushover to beat. The Real Zombie Gaming, thank you very much for the follow. And Rusty Nail, welcome. Jafurwald, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see so many new faces. Alright, Norway's being a bit sneaky. That is unacceptable sneakiness there, Norway. Loyalty is a Carol the 1st in August. Electing monarchs from different nations allows us, to some extent, to avoid a dynasty taking control over the Commonwealth entirely, but also causes some foreign nobles to sometimes doubt our loyalty. The von Hessen family, to which our current king belongs, has noticed that the increased support of the. S Damn it, how do you say this again? Say. Say him? Say him. For August of von Hessen dynasty. So, August's support goes down. Let me just see how good August is. August is a 052. If he goes, then it's going to be between the 444 and the 440. That's 7 points versus 12 points versus 8 points. So either of those would be better. In fact, the Bavarian one, 433, I would really like him. He's only going to be a point behind. Or August goes up. Or we gain prestige. I'm going to say minus 10 to you. So now we've got the 444 who's next in line. Although he is greedy. Eh, that's fine. I can live with greedy. Bohemia is on low war enthusiasm, so this war should end fairly soon. We just need to peace out Circassia, Genoa and Venice. Ooh. Yeah, Genoa and Venice are going to be difficult to peace out. Although surely we have more fleet than they do. Actually, Genoa, we probably can peace out. Well, there goes Denmark. Denmark will cede Holland to Sweden. Denmark will pay 234 ducats, of which I get 87. I did not get any of the territories. Grrr. And then we've still got to kill off Norway. And the knights. Wait, the knights are in this war? I thought they were in this war. Huh. Okay, so that's why nobody else was killing the knights. And I didn't kill the knights because they're the knights. Why would I want to kill them? I love the fact that they're still alive. Have they taken any more territory? In fact, with Denmark out, I could potentially sail my galleys over here to kill that. So that is a friggin' long way away. Oh, no, there's some other Venetians. Let's go sink these. Let's go sink the Norwegians. That's three heavies. Lero! Hopefully they'll join me. Oh, my new heir. New heir? Austrian. 440. No, I don't want you. I want the Tyrolean. Even though he's a Habsburg. Alright. 10 galleys versus 3 heavies. I should really have done 12. 
versus this. Plus Norway is usually pretty good at sea. Usually I consider like four galleys to one heavy to win. Reliably. Then again, we could also just completely annihilate them. Oh, but that's because we... Haha, <laughs> I stole a heavy! Yes! That was actually a way better outcome than I could have expected. Actually, no, you stay there. Oh, right, yes, that, that should go to Sweden. There you go, Sweden. Helped you with the rebels. Actually, I kind of want to see how this looks. Yeah, see, we're embracing this well quickly. We're going to be one of the first. We have a couple more provinces in the high 90s. Sweet! Alright, so the rest of this is going to be up to you, Sweden. Like, I need you to pull your weight here. Oh, unconditional surrender. 100% War League. There it is. War of the Protestant League. Bohemia will cede... One to Brandenburg. Circassia will become a vassal of Brandenburg. Bohemia will renounce their claims on Oberlaustitz. Protestant becomes the official faith of the Holy Roman Empire. Bohemia will convert to Protestant. Bohemia will pay 20 ducats to Brandenburg and the Allies. With Religious League CB, Brandenburg suffers a base of 5.5 .5 expansion AE relations penalty. A total of 53 prestige will be divided amongst us, of which I get one. Brandenburg gains two power projection. Austria gains two. Bavaria gains two. Bohemia loses seven. Brandenburg owes me two favours because of that. The Evangelical Union is victorious, but Protestantism becomes the official faith of the HRE. Okay. No, Brandenburg, you took us. You got greedy. You didn't take this, you took this. Oh dear, Brandenburg. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Protestant religion's the only faith, the HRE. Only Protestant rulers are eligible to become emperor and all electors must be Protestant. Hmm, right. Austria no longer considers being your rival. Goal. Uh, the goal here is basically to get a border with Ming as a commonwealth. I don't really have any interest in going into Europe. Although <laughs> Europe is a complete mess. I don't think I've ever seen Europe this messy in 1566. Like by now things have kind of consolidated, but no, it just hasn't. Brandenburg's going to get a Slavic li liberation. Yeah, I'm really annoyed about this. I might actually... Actually, what I could do is... Wait, you went... Circassia. What culture group are you? Because that's a Brandenburg vassal. Sication is Sication. Not Slavic, I don't think. I 
I actually legitimately don't know. Do they consider themselves Slavic? I don't think so. And there we go. Swedish conquest of Jämtland. Fine. White peace! <sighs> but we're going to keep our alliance now. They no longer hate me. White peace. Really? <sighs> Alright, let's bring the boys home. Shasta gains loyalty, but we lose autonomy. For 10 years, we lose stability. I'll, I'll take the autonomy hit. Hmm. You more Kazan's under attack by Gazamuk. Who's still allied? We are still allied. How long is my truce to Denmark? 74. Eight years. Oh, I'm really annoyed about this. Okay, so if I were to theoretically support some rebels over here. Because they're a different culture. They would have problems with that. I'm going to see if I can get rebels to rise up against them. I mean, Brandenburg does have a strong army, but actually Brandenburg does sometimes struggle with rebels because they have really good discipline. And they also have the infantry combat ability. But a lot of Brandenburg's strength is discipline, which is inherited by the rebels. So I'm kind of hoping I can promote some of the more separatist ideas arising in that nation. Okay, so I could actually embrace very soon. Without taking any loans, which is mind-blowing. Lubeck? Really? Lubeck is a viable rival? Alright. And I am going to spend some more on development. Let's do that. Rebel factions are disappearing. Conversion continues. I have two idle diplomats. And I can now embrace the institution. Let me just double check to see if there's anywhere that is imminently going to convert. Just, you know, save me a ducat or two. Ottomans are preparing to attack the Mamelukes. How are the Mamelukes doing? They're not dead. They're dying, but they're not dead. Alright, so one of my generals just died. It's not one of the guys... Okay, so it's one... It's, it's the general I hadn't actually assigned. So, it's fine. Let's start these guys drilling again, so we can get your strength. Right, do I want to change the templates at all, now that I have quite a lot more force limit? No, I was going to hire another whole section, wasn't I? No, I'm not. I'm going to save the money because I want to embrace. Duh. Alright, so none of the big provinces are in that top list of the most expensive places, so I'm just going to go ahead and embrace. Boom. Printing press is ours. And we'll very soon be able to get admin, but we're still three years ahead of time. So we're actually doing pretty well when it comes to monarch points. I'm, I'm actually quite happy with this. All of my armies are drilling. And we should be in a rather good position to push east. I think this is actually going to be a pretty good... Uh, stopping point. I don't want to get too far into things and 
I've been away for a week and a half, so I need to kind of go easy to make sure I don't completely lose my voice. Especially as I'm going to be doing a full eight-hour day tomorrow. So thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, be sure to hit that follow button so you get notifications when I'm live again in the future. If you've really enjoyed this, then do consider subscribing. It helps the channel out tremendously and allows me to do more of this kind of content. If you want to support the channel other ways, check out my Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash Viking. I do have a YouTube channel where this series is being uploaded, so if you've missed out on any of the lead up to this point, you can check that out. That's at youtube.com slash Viking. And finally, I have a Discord, which you can find here at this link. That is where I hang out. It's where the community hangs out. They're a very cool bunch. They know an awful lot about games. And it would be lovely to see some new faces there. So come join us and we'll talk about some games. I'm just going to see who is streaming right now. Uh, well, Bill's doing Total War Arena. I haven't actually seen much of that. So we'll go ahead and host World Bill. Head on over there. Say hello from Mordred Viking. Very much appreciate that. My next stream will be tomorrow. I'll be kicking that off at 5 p.m. British summer time. That is going to be the Total War Attila with Bussy. That's the uh, Gothic Titans. It just got really interesting. That is such a good series. Seriously, if you have not been watching the Attila Total War series, I heartily recommend you head over to YouTube and check out the Gothic Titan series and then watch along tomorrow because it has been fascinating. That's easily one of my favorite series I've probably done like all year. It is, mm, it's good. Uh, yeah, so thanks everyone for watching. I will catch you guys tomorrow. And I have to say, it's good to be back. Bye everyone. Have to wait for the raid timer. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Kind of wish this was just instant. <laughs> There's always this kind of awkward pause at the end. Oh, I should probably.